Okay, good afternoon everyone. Today is Saturday the 24th of February 2024. Welcome to another video of DNG Drives. Today we're going to do a drive from this location, Hink Street in Bridgetown. And start the tour really from the Bridgetown port to the airport. So from the seaport to the airport. And we're going to pass 16 roundabouts. And this entire video is going to be all about the roundabouts along the ABC Highway. So let's get on our way. As I said, this is Hink Street. Should be very familiar to many of you. Anyone who's visited Barbados, this is definitely an area you should have visited. Barbados Fisheries Division on the left. Saturday evening, quarter to five. Alice Highway passing Pelican Village on the right and you can see the deep blue sea on your left right ahead of us is the port of Bridgetown this first roundabout Oh, look, you can see some cruise ships in. Cruise ships are in there. So this first roundabout is known as the roundabout at the cruise terminal. It doesn't have an official name like some of the other roundabouts that we're going to encounter. And I'll just circle it so that you can get a nice feel for this area. So this is Barbados' seaport, the port of Bridgetown, and you can see there are some cruise ships. So this is Dad and JP taking you on a journey of the 16 roundabouts between the seaport and the airport. called Fontebel. It's on the back side of it. This is the nation newspaper approaching here on the right. I think everyone knows what the nation newspaper does. And this is the new building for the Barbados Port Inc. on the left. We approach the second roundabout, the LC Payne roundabout. It's a bit faded, but you can still see the words LC Payne roundabout. And as we did before, we'll just go right around it to give you an idea of the area. Barbados Port Inc. building and you can see the cruise ships or cruise ship because you can only see one from this angle and we make our way to the mighty Griner Highway but before that I hope you can get this view of the Kensington Oval Cricket Mecca you can see a statue of Sir Garfield Sobers to the right. So 
so this is the mighty grinder highway named for the mighty grinder uh, well-known Barbadian Calypsonian you can see Rihanna Drive that's where Rihanna's childhood home is located This mighty Griner Highway was originally named the Spring Garden Highway. Calypso lovers should remember the famous Calypso by Ross Eiley. Spring Garden on fire. Beach on the left is Brandon's, and at crop over time, this is a at Kaduman time, this is a very special area in terms of the bands parading and so on. So, when the mighty Griner Highway was renamed. This monument to the left was unveiled in his honor. And it's a lovely thing that they honored him in his lifetime. Many people work their entire lives and honored years after they've passed passed on this area here is Brighton and there's a very famous beach Brighton Beach known for its hot spot the desalination plant is to the right Ionix fresh water this is a water scarce country and uh, that desalination plant supplies water to thousands. To the left is the Barbados Light and Power uh, Generation Plant and that is what causes the hot spot in the sea. Swimmers with arthritis and various joint pains love to go there because they they say it provides relief. The water is very hot, so it's like having a bubble bath. So we are approaching the end of the mighty Griner Highway, formerly the Spring Garden Highway. take us onto the west coast of Barbados but we are not going that way we are going up University Drive and as we've done before we're just gonna circle the roundabout this road here takes you into Black Rock that's the end of the mighty Griner Highway and we're gonna continue our journey up to University Drive. Right ahead there's the Mandela Freedom Park. lovely view of the cruise ships coming in and leaving so 
this is the university. This is the Errol Barrow Center for Creative Imagination on the left. And on the right, that's the KFIL campus of the University of the West Indies. University Credit Union, the CARICOM Research Park, the Owen Arthur Building, the Archives, the Alistair McIntyre Building, and all along the right here would be the Worrell Hall, named for Sir Frank Worrell. And we are currently on the Gordon Cummins stretch of the ABC Highway. To the left there are three bus of the three W's, Weeks, Worrell and Walcott. And they actually sit on a letter W with one head on each point of the W. So the ABC Highway named for Adams, Barrow and Cummins. This section here is the Gordon Cummins section of the highway or Cummins section. It's the main highway that takes you from Kayfield to the airport. And we are exploring the 16 roundabouts starting at the seaport and ending at the airport. One of my favorite views is approaching. We are about to enter Warren's, and it's a lovely view because it shows much development. Warren's is not a town, it's a regular area. Some argue that it should be designated a town because you can get all of the facilities here. administrative arms of government and if you look ahead you can see the terrible dust from the Saharan dust the, that haze so we've just entered Warren's very very picturesque area and we approach the fourth roundabout the Darcy Scott roundabout. It is my information that Darcy Scott was uh, an auctioneer and a real estate magnet and someone who did much for charitable causes in Barbados. He established himself and his country has honored him by naming this roundabout for him. It's a very, very dangerous roundabout here in Warrens. Um, it is said to have at least one accident every day. There's a story online um, about there being three accidents, three serious accidents within five hours. There's an ambulance here, so we have to slow down. Three accidents within five hours. You can see how the accidents are caused just by what this white van is doing here. Um, 
some argue that the roundabout was poorly designed I have no particular view on it I think you need to be careful so some refer to that roundabout as the Warrens roundabout and this next roundabout as well is often referred to as the Warrens roundabout there are two roundabouts in Warrens this is the Everton Weeks roundabout and it's maintained by CIBC so it's branded at every spot CIBC and this is the Everton Weeks roundabout so so far you've seen the Everton Weeks and Frank Worrell roundabouts Frank Worrell being the third Everton Weeks being the fifth this is CIBC ahead of us so Weeks and Worrell, two outstanding cricketers, outstanding Barbadians who have been honored by having notable roundabouts named for them. So we're leaving Warrens. This area is a bit of a racetrack for some. leaving Warrens and having a bit of green here lovely little area to drive through in evenings very cool Approaching an area known as Hothessel. So, as you know, most of the roundabouts in Barbados, especially along the ABC Highway, are known by their informal names. So, many people refer to this as the Hothessel Roundabout. It's a roundabout that connects Hothessel to Waterford Road. Waterford going down to the famous Combermere School and this is actually the Clyde Walcott roundabout the third W in the three W's mentioned earlier so the third of the three W's this is the Clyde Walcott roundabout and unfortunately if you are not aware of that there's no way for you to know because there's one sign it's very faded for many years and it's not being addressed. So the late Sir Clyde Walcott is being honored in silence as um, his name isn't prominently displayed. But it connects, the roundabout connects Hothessel to Waterford Road and of course the ABC Highway which we are driving. This is now the bar barrow section of the roundabout. And you can see it's not very clear ahead because of the Saharan dust. Recently resurfaced highway here. This area is known as the Bell and many people refer to this as the Bell Stretch or the Bell Strip or the Bell Street. I'm not sure what the correct name is but officially this is the Bell and they describe it as the Bell Stretch to probably explain precisely where the 
area is, but the formal name of this area is the Bell. The Bell in St. Michael. So we approach another roundabout, Norman Niles. This would be roundabout number seven. Yeah, because Everton Weeks was number five. So this is the Norman Niles roundabout in Haggard Hall. So informally referred to as Haggard Hall. And it is my information that Norman Niles was a Seventh-day Adventist attorney at law who fought for religious freedom and for the rights of the underprivileged. He distinguished himself in his field. He became an outstanding contributor to Barbados' development and hence that that roundabout is named for him and it's informally known as the Haggard Hall roundabout so this is Haggard Hall another nice cool area here it's a relatively new building on the left the Goddard building it houses a number of well-known companies we're currently at Haggard Hall, St. Michael. Which leads us into what is perhaps the most popular of all of the roundabouts along the ABC Highway. This is the this roundabout is known as the Busser Roundabout, but the proper name is the JTC Ramsey Roundabout. And that sculpture there is of a slave thought to represent Bussa, but my information is that it was not originally done for Bussa, but it became known as the Bussa statue. The proper name is the Emancipation Statue. So the Emancipation Statue is known as the as, as a statue or sculptor of Bussa and by virtue the roundabout is known as the Bussa roundabout and this is Haggard Hall we're going to take the roundabout one more time to give you a good view because this is a very very popular area connects you to Highway 5 this area here going down there is Two Mile Hill takes you to Sir Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Centre and the Prime Minister's official residence and then it leads into Government Hill and to State House. So this is JTC Ramsey Roundabout aka Bussa and then we continue along the Errol Barrow stretch of the ABC Highway to explore other roundabouts. This is St. Barnabas, St. Barnabas Anglican Church there on the right, a very popular Anglican Church, the Barbados Water Authority's headquarters on our left. Ahead of us is the Parkinson Memorial Secondary School. To the left here is the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, radio and television, state-owned. More than one radio station, I may add. And this area is called, well, this roundabout, it has no official name. The official name, sorry, I should say it has no given name. The official name is 
the roundabout at Wildy. You can use this roundabout to connect to the Samuel Jackman Prescott Institute of Technology, the Caribbean Development Bank, or use it to swing back as we are doing to get down to the Pine or to Parkinson Field. And right ahead of us is the SJPI. That road there takes you to the Caribbean Development Bank. And then there's a bit of a, a, a housing, not housing, a, an area there with a security firm and other companies. Sort of a warehousing area. We're descending into Wildy. This hill is informally known as the BET Hill. This building on the left, which was once the tallest building in Barbados, housed the BET, a corporation associated with cable and wireless. And informally they called it the BET Hill. Some of us just call it Wildy Hill. This is a very busy area, bumper to bumper traffic during the week and even earlier on Saturdays. Sajikor's headquarters are here on the left. And we approach Garfield Sobers Roundabout, so named for the greatest cricketer of all time, by some accounts. This is the road that takes you to the Sheraton Mall. And this is going around the Garfield Sobers Roundabout. That road takes you down to Rendezvous, Rendezvous Hill. Another view of Sajiko, and this is all of Wildy. So Garfield Sobers, Sir Garfield Sobers, was knighted by the late Queen Elizabeth II, who flew to Barbados and knighted him. That should give you an idea of his record and his importance in the field of cricket. Probably the, one of the world's, if not the most revered, one of the most revered cricketers. Okay, so we are about to drive through Warners and this brings us to the end of the Barrow section of the Errol Barrow of the ABC Highway. So this is the end of the Errol Barrow or the Barrow section of the ABC Highway. Tino Terrace on the left there, you can see it. So at the end of the Barrow section of the ABC Highway is the Errol Barrow Roundabout, which is right ahead. So who is Errol Barrow or who was Errol Barrow? The country's first prime minister, the country's last premier, and someone who is usually described as the father of independence. That road down there goes to Graham Hall. So Errol Barrow brought Barbados to independence. He's loved by many Barbadians on both sides of the political divide. This is his roundabout. father of independence, Errol Barrow. He 
He's one of the country's national heroes, similar to Rihanna and Bassa. They are styled the Right Excellent. So his official name is the Right Excellent Errol Barrow. And now we have a backup of traffic. I'm not sure why, but there's a play park ahead. And there is a well, it, they, they play cricket there, so I'm not sure if there's some sort of activity. I can see the cars going all across. It's moving though. If you look to the left, you can see a, a fence. And there are cars there, so it would suggest that there's some activity up there probably cricket causing the backup of traffic if it holds us back we will we will just pause the video and continue on so as not to waste your time stuck in traffic but for right now it's moving our way along the Tom Adams section of the ABC Highway. Tom, it was Tom Adams' vision which resulted in the placement of this highway stretching from the airport all across the cave hill. Black Rock as well. You recall that roundabout there, the Worrell roundabout, which connected University Drive to Black Rock and to the mighty Griner Highway. The Frank Worrell roundabout. That was the third one we encountered. lovely Rolls Royce that just passed us there that's connected to a hotel, a very famous hotel in Barbados and it collects guests from the airport and brings them up to the hotel so this roundabout is the Edwin Talma roundabout and my information is that he was an outstanding politician who belonged firstly to the Barbados Labour Party and then to the Democratic Labour Party later when it was formed and apparently he did such an outstanding job representing um, Christchurch and then Christchurch East he rose to great prominence and therefore this roundabout is named for him in the heart of Christchurch. So still on the Tom Adams section of the ABC Highway, to the left is a huge hardware store that was opened within the last three or so years. And to the right is a very concentrated development or residential development known as Kingsland. And to our right, which sits just inside of that, is the Dighton Griffith Secondary School. One of the newer secondary schools in Barbados. Okay, so I misspoke earlier. This is Kingsland to the to the 
right and the name of the earlier development escapes me this entire area to the right here is a very very densely populated area it's called Kingsland and just behind it is Wharton those two areas belong to the Christchurch East Central constituency as we make our way along the Tom Adams section of the ABC Highway and still all of this time I'm driving all behind the sections of Kingsland the Henry Ford roundabout, Sir Henry Ford, a former Attorney General, outstanding attorney, member of the Tom Adams administration. I think at one time he was a leader of the Barbados Labour Party for a short time. That road takes you down to Oystens. And we've covered this area before in another video, so I won't say too much, but this is the, needless to say, this is the Henry Ford roundabout. And it takes us along the Adams section of the ABC Highway. So a few of the roundabouts are named and many of the prominent personalities you would note are or were attorneys at law. There's Southern Heights, a newer development to the right, more of an upscale development lovely stretch of highway here sometimes used as a race car track in my opinion but it's a lovely drive right here I think this is actually JP's favorite stretch of road to drive on Chickmont Foods to the left. Another housing area coming up. If you turned off here, you would get to Lowlands. Recently we did a video taking you from Coverley to Warrens. This is the 
roundabout at Coverley. I don't even think this roundabout is three years old as yet. It's not named after anyone. It's just known as the roundabout at Coverley, similar to the roundabout at Wildy. It, it's not named after any notable personality. But it takes you into the villages at Coverley down there and this roundabout I believe is maintained by Ross University. On the right is also Coverley but that's the original Coverley. So to the left is the villages at Coverley is a new housing area that has its own supermarket and gas station and bank and gym and medical facilities and a number of fast food outlets so, so some people describe it as a retirement village people sell their big homes and downsize students rent in there as well as Coverley We're about to end this tour. We've been going for more than 40 minutes now, so this is one of our longer videos. But we wanted to cover all of the roundabouts along the ABC Highway in one video. So we're about to approach roundabout number 15 that begins the ABC Highway because that roundabout starting from the airport is the Tom Adams roundabout and I'll just take the right lane so you can see the name it's very prominent Tom Adams roundabout So depending on your perspective this could be either roundabout number one or roundabout number 15 we're just circling the Tom Adams roundabout which is the first roundabout after the Grantly Adams International Airport and if you didn't know Tom Adams is the son or was the son of the late Grantly Adams. Grantly Adams, a premier of Barbados and the first and only premier of the West Indies Federation, which sadly collapsed, I think, in 1958. Very short lived attempt at political unification in the region so you know the famous story Jamaica was the first to pull out of the West Indies Federation because they wanted to pursue their own independence and then the famous statement by Eric Williams at the time premier of Trinidad and Tobago who said well one from ten leaves not so the federation collapsed and X number of years later we are all multiple independent Caribbean states entirely dependent on each other in a fierce and competitive world and then we have CARICOM that seeks to foster economic and social and other forms of integration this is the last roundabout viewers it's the last roundabout before you enter the Grantly Adams International Airport 
G-A-I-A. That's it ahead of you, Grantley Adams International. And the name of this roundabout is the roundabout at Spencer's. I'll just go around again because all visitors to Barbados or all returning nationals come here unless you're coming by boat in which case you will come through the Bridgetown port so I shouldn't say all I should say most most visitors or the majority who come to visit for some time unlike cruisers who come for one day or maybe two so we're entering the Grantley Adams International Airport having exited the roundabout at Spencer's right ahead of you there is the home of one of the Concorde aircraft it was donated by the British because the Concorde routinely came to Barbados. It was a very common destination. And that aircraft is housed there. It's really a tourist attraction, but it's down for renovations right now. And when you enter the Concorde, you can see how it was laid out for its very last flight and it also shows the place where the late Queen Elizabeth sat it gives an example of the type of meal she would have and some idea of those who sat around her okay viewers this is the Grantley Adams International Airport and we're just going to take a drive to the end here so that you can see where passengers arrive so we just passed departures you saw the various airline counters and this is where you arrive when you come to Barbados various vehicles here collecting their loved ones or their passengers so that's the Grantley Adams International Airport the arrivals area car rentals to the left and when you exit the airport, the very first roundabout you encounter is this one, Tom Adams Roundabout, which we circled a short time ago. So that's the end of our video. Thank you very much for staying with us on this extraordinarily long video wanted to cover all of the roundabouts and we hope you enjoyed it we hope you will subscribe to our channel and also share this video with anyone you think may be interested in learning about roundabouts in Barbados and please like the video as well thank you